Mayor Robertson, uh, it's my pleasure to invite you to the podium to offer your remarks and read the 2017 International Women's Day Proclamation. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth, and welcome everyone. It's great to see you all here uh, for this very special evening. We, we have great uh, celebrations of International Women's Day here at City Hall most years. Sometimes they, uh, we take to the streets, uh, and I'm thrilled to see uh, an, an esteemed panel here to talk about um, the importance of being bold for change and making sure that it doesn't take 170 years, as, uh, as might be predicted by some. Uh, there is a, a great long tradition, though, of celebrating International Women's Day, which is a good thing. It's uh, a, a little disconcerting that even despite uh, this many years, 106 years of celebrating uh, since 1911, that uh, there hasn't been more change, but there has been a remarkable amount of change. If you look at the, the status of women in 1911, it was a very different world, uh, and there's still a long ways to go. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really honored that these panelists and, and all of you who are here to witness this and those who are documenting this to share more widely are here to talk about gender equity and closing the gender gap, which is a, an important theme that really complements the work we're doing at, at City Council this year in updating our uh, the city's gender equity or gender equality strategy. That's a big piece of work that was due to be updated, so there's a nice dovetail here of making sure we're we're getting uh, the brightest uh, thinking about this and helping inform what we do next on that front. We are very fortunate to have a, a, a great Women's Advisory Committee that has worked hard as well supporting council and staff in the work that we do. And uh, with the committee, we are launching a citywide Talk Vancouver survey. And this is reaching out to thousands of Vancouverites who, who like to feed in a very direct and and pointed feedback on a regular basis on a number of different issues, and this is the big issue that we're diving into next, which and that's really getting a better understanding of uh, people in the city and their views uh, about uh, values and priorities around gender equality. We want to make sure that that's, uh, that feedback comes in uh, from citizens here in Vancouver to help shape uh, the work that we have going forward. There is, uh, I don't think it's been mentioned yet, a dialogue and learning session on all of this at Creekside Community Center in the Olympic Village on April the 19th. So that's something to throw in your calendars uh, if you don't have it in there already, 4 to 8 p.m. at Creekside for that uh, dialogue and learning session. Uh, as many of you that can make that is, is great. Uh, but I'll just say um, every year I, I'm, I'm amazed by the efforts uh, and that are taken throughout the community to make sure that this day is marked, is important, and that there's actions that, that flow from it. It's not just about uh, celebrating the, the past, it's about uh, really uh, rededicating ourselves to accelerating the work. And that's certainly what uh, today is about. Thanks so much uh, to, our, to our panelists again for, um, for taking that forward with us here. I am going to read the uh, city's official proclamation here. Just like to uh, invite um, members of the uh, Women's Advisory Committee who were, I think, just briefly introduced Miranda, Rhonda, Aaron, Christine, Margo, and Desiree, if you could uh, come forward and I will uh, I'll read the proclamation. <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> you're up next. Okay, here we go. Whereas International Women's Day is celebrated around the world by people who believe in gender equality and who seek to improve the lives of women and girls through legal, cultural, and social change. Today, on the 106th International Women's Day, we celebrate and encourage bold actions to create a more equitable world. And whereas events are being held across Vancouver to celebrate the contributions that women from our diverse communities make to our city as workers, artists, entrepreneurs, caregivers, activists, educators, volunteers, and community leaders. 
whereas globally and in Canada, women experience high levels of sexual violence and face many forms of discrimination affecting their economic security, job opportunities, health, education, and reproductive rights. And whereas the City of Vancouver remains committed to promoting fairness and equality and working to end systems which perpetuate gender inequality, discrimination, and violence against women. Now therefore, I, Gregory Robertson, the Mayor of the City of Vancouver, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, March 8, 2017, International Women's Day in the City of Vancouver.